Hello friends, this is Neha Tulshan. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I am here to share the part 2 of Lawn Fawn Create a Beautiful Birthday Scene. As this video tutorial was getting too lengthy, I decided to divide this video into two parts. So for the first one, I, sh I shared the coloring of all the images that I am going to use in this card. Um, and actually I colored few extras as I wasn't sure which images I am going to use. And in this video, I'm going to share how to create the whole scene, how to create the elements for the scene and how to put together the whole scene to create a beautiful birthday scene. So here I have started with a Nina Solo White 110 pound cardstock in A2 size and I am using mini brick stencil from Crafters Workshop and inking it up uh, using vintage photo distress ink. As I'm going to add window to my scene here, I wanted to create a wall background. So this mini big brick stencil really came in handy. I also blended a little bit of that vintage photo color onto the background to mute down the white in between the bricks. And as I'm going to use the grassy border uh, for uh, the bottom of my card, I didn't bother inking up my background at the bottom. I wanted to add a tree to my scene so I used this leafy tree backdrop die from Lawn Fawn and die cut this whole tree frame. And I'm inking it up using walnut stain distress ink and I didn't ink up the whole frame because I'm not going to use the frame. I'm going to trim it out as I have once I have inked up the whole uh, tree. Then I used my distress sprayer to spray some water onto the tree and uh, let it let the water sit for like 10 20 seconds and then i blot it dry using some paper towel and now i'm just trimming off the excess frame uh, all around the tree uh, so that i will be left with the beautiful tree now to create the grass border from the bo for the bottom of the card i used one of the dies from grassy hillside borders die set i die cut the border using some nina solo white cardstock and now i'm inking it up with the moat lawn distress ink and uh, the twisted citron distress ink sorry i used bundled sage distress ink instead of mode lawn and twisted citron to ink up my grass border die cut i also inked up a scrap piece of white cardstock using both bundled sage and uh, twisted citron distress ink and I'm using this leaf die from Leafy Tree Backdrop die set and I die cut some leaves for my scene. To create the window for my scene, I used the wonderful window die from Lawn Fawn and I die cut some and die cut using some white cardstock. I prefer using white die cuts upon solid color cardstock die cuts for creating such scenes is because I can use distress ink to add uh, my uh, choice of color to the white die cuts and also I can give those uh, beautiful effects using distress ink which I cannot uh, get when I'm using the solid color cardstocks for my die cuts. So here I used walnut stain distress ink to ink up the ledge die cut out of wonderful window die set and I'm using Copic markers to color the flowers and leaves that will be attached to the ledge of the window. All the details of the Copic markers used will be listed in my blog and all the products used in the video will be listed in the description box below and also in my blog. So this is how my scene will look. I'm just planning uh, to see what all other elements I need to prepare to assemble my scene. All the elements for my scene are almost ready. I'm just working on my window panel to see if everything fits together. Here I felt that the girl is all alone uh, at the window and uh, the window looks quite empty. So I wanted to add something uh, to the window. Also the back of the window should have something uh, different, some different backdrop uh, as it's going to show the inside of the room or inside of the house. So I'm creating uh, the background for my back of the window. I'm using Peacock Feathers Distressing to ink up a small uh, piece of white cardstock. And with the help of Distress Sprayer, I sprayed the water very generously onto the uh, background stamp from Impression, Op uh, Impression Obsession called uh, Diagonal Lines. And then I put the inked cardstock onto the uh, sprayed stamp and pressed it all the way and let the water 
react with the distress ink on the cardstock and do the magic so wherever the watered stamp touched the background it took away that color of the background giving it the striped look that the stamp had this is the beauty of the stress inks and that's why i like the stress inks to color my elements for a scene now i'm trimming off my striped background slightly smaller to fit my window panel now i'm assembling the window panel using atg tool and some multimedia matte glue from ranges it is here when i realized that i wanted to add something more along with the girl at the window so i stamped and colored uh, the puppy from the same bicycle built for you stamp set and i added uh, the puppy just uh, beside the girl as if the girl is playing with the puppy now all the elements for my scene is almost ready. I just have to assemble the whole scene to create my card. But before that, I also have to stamp my sentiment. So I built my sentiment from the same stamp set by a bicycle built for you. I'm stamping wishing you a beautiful birthday. The half of the sentiment wishing you a, a will be on the front of the card and the rest will be inside the card. So I am heat embossing my front sentiment on the grass border wishing you a using some white embossing powder and i used my white shell pen to add three dots beside the sentiment to create a continuation and just a note never forget to prep your surface before uh, heat embossing a sentiment using some anti-static powder tool now that all my elements are ready i will assemble my card using my atg tool when creating such scenes you need to keep in mind uh, which element you want to put on back and which elements you want to come on front the elements you want on front can be attached using some dimensional tape and the ones you want to be at the back you can attach them directly to the base like here i wanted my tree to go all the way to the back so i attached directly i attach it directly to the uh, background of my card then comes the window panel the window panel has a little bit of bulk because of two layers of cardstock and it and it does not look as uh, uh, flat as the tree then comes the grass border which i wanted it to be on the front so i am adding it using some foam tape I used multimedia matte glue from Rangers to stick the boy on the bicycle and also the leaves on the trees. This multimedia matte glue from Rangers uh, dries matte on the cart. So even if a little bit of uh, the glue oozes out, it does not show. After sticking the leaves on the trees, it felt as if the bottom of the card uh, looks a little empty so i used a uh, few leaves and uh, stick the, it near the bicycle and also near the sentiment at the bottom of the card using memento tuxedo black ink i stamped the inside of the sentiment onto a a2 size side folding note card i fixed my sentiment using copic multi liner and then using ATG tool, I sticked my panel onto the card base. For finishing touches, I used uh, R24 Copic marker to color the heart on the window panel. So this was my card for today. Thank you for visiting. Have a nice day.